morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Junghui Hu from the State Key Laboratory of Mechanics and the Control of Mechanical Structures, Nanjing University of Aeronautics and Astronautics, China. The title of my talk is Control the Concentration and the Transportation of Nanoparticles at the Interface Between Frame, Substrate, and the Droplet. This is our my talk, background and purpose of this research, the manipulation method and its functions, working principle analysis, performance, and conclusions. Good concentration and transportation of nanoscale materials. It's lots of applications, such as in the fabrication in nano sensors and electrodes in the high sens sensitivity biosensing. We may use the magnetic, optical, microfluidic, dielectrophoretic, and ultrasonic methods to implement the controlled um, concentration and rotation. However, um, it has been a big challenge to design a device with dual nano manipulation functions, such as nano concentration and transportation. The purpose of this work is to propose and develop an ultrasonic device capable of concentrating nanoparticles at the interface between a droplet and a plane substrate and capable of transporting the concentrated nanostructured material at the interface. This is the experimental setup and the device we used in our experiment. Um, the experiments were carried out under an optical microscope. Uh, this is a device and this is uh, a substrate. On the substrate, there is a droplet uh, in which there are you know, samples and the ionized water. Uh, uh, let's look at uh, the device. Uh, the device consists of a micro probe, actuation transmission needle, and a piezoelectric component. So they are the main parts of the device. Um, the piezoelectric component excites the whole device uh, to vibrate. Due to the vibration of the micro probe uh, in the droplet, there is an ultrasonic field. Uh, with this ultrasonic field, we can uh, the nano samples in the droplet. Uh, in the experiments, we use uh, silicon nanoparticles with a diameter of 500 nanometer. Uh, the radius of the microprobe is 10 microns. Um, during the operation, the microprobe vibrates in parallel with the substrate. probe vibrates in this way. Also, uh, the angle made by the vibration trans transmission needle and the micron probe is close to 90 degrees, and the distance between the probe and the substrate uh, is about uh, several 10 microns. These photos show a concentration process of the silicon nanoparticles. Um, after 300 seconds sonication, uh, we can get concentration spot with a diameter about uh, 100 microns. The, the thickness, the, the thickness of this is about uh, 20 so uh, the size of this concentration spot is large enough for the fabrication of a nano SN. These photos show the transportation of the concentrated microprobe. I mean, by shifting the device or the microprobe, uh, we can uh, change the location of the 
particle. We can change the location of the concentrated micro spot, like this one. So here we have a video in clip. Standard the working principle. Um, we computed the MMP vibration of the sonic field and the acoustic stream field by an elemental master. So first of all, we use the uh, measured vibration velocities of the MMP to compute the vibration response of the MMP. Then we the in the droplet and the drive force of a cosy stream. I mean, the linear stress gradient. That we can calculate the cosy stream. Computed a cosy stream at the interface and the PMP are shown by these two numbers, respectively. Uh, use the acoustic streaming for the uh, this one, the one uh, shows the acoustic field. Just the pill, the micro. From this figure, from the left hand figure, we can see that the host streaming flow at the interface can front the nano sphere this region to the region. So uh, this one here. And with uh, the figure, the right one. Um, from this figure, we can see that a positive cosine velocity uh, on the substrate under the, the micro in this part. So the no zero particles in the uh, can stay and then fall. The measure center of the concentrated spot of this station time. From this figure, you can see that it takes um, several minutes to form a stable concentrated spot. Also, from this result, we see that the concentration of, of uh, suspension, suspension basis. This, uh, Stable diameter, stable uh, spot, also created. This is because of um, that there are uh, more nanoscale particles in, in the droplet when the concentration increases. This figure shows the measured stable diameter and velocity of the device. From this figure, we can see that as the vibration velocity increases, the stable diameter of the concentration spot uh, increases. This is because um, uh, the vibration velocity increases, the streaming uh, phase becomes stronger. Um, we also uh, computed uh, the inference, the effect of the device parameters on the on the flow pattern at the interface. So, uh, with these computation results, we can understand, uh, um, we can know how to choose, how to design the device. Um, based on the on the computation, we found that the microprobes radius R matters when. This radius uh, is too small or too large. Um, the flow at the interface cannot flush the particles uh, to to some region. Okay.
we also found that the distance between the microprobe and the substrate. Mm. Uh, when the distance is uh, too small, uh, there is no concentration. And when the distance is too large, there is also no concentration. Uh, so uh, the must, uh, must be in a proper range uh, to get the concentration effect. Uh, in our experiments, the range is uh, from uh, 10 microns to 120 microns. Also, we found that the angle made by the VTN and the micro probe uh, can affect the concentration effect. The angle must be around 90 degrees to get a uh, strong enough concentration effect. Our computation, we also found that the MMP's lens air um, has an effect on the concentration. On the, on the con concentration capability. Uh, when the MMP's lens is, is proper, uh, the MMP can resonate. So in this case, uh, the concentration effect is quite strong. Conclusions. A facile ultrasonic method for the concentration and the transportation of nanoparticles is proposed. There is no need in this method. There is no need to set a vibration excitation mechanism and uh, the micro channels in in the substrate. Um, the concentration process can be implemented at any desired location at the interface, and the the transportation can be implemented through an arbitrary uh, selected path to the interface. I thank my students for their contributions to this work. Thank you very much.